Alright guys, we got Jamesy Bell versus Dan Dandy here. Should be a very interesting match. James Bell coming all the way from Queensland. And, you know... <laughs> James, thinking long and hard about his character choice here. Dan, known for his Weavile, and James not particularly fond of the Suicune Weavile matchup. So we'll see... Uh, I imagine it'll be Suicune or Scizor coming out of James. And there's the choice. So these two play a fair bit online, but not usually in the same room, so it's going to be very interesting. James wins the 50-50. Already in his head. So James with the scissor. Quick field phase and got the corner. A lot of movement here. And I imagine that's something you'll be seeing throughout the set as Dan able to start his pressure up. Plus, James showing very early that he's not afraid to use that very vulnerable option if it means getting the pressure off. So quick with that uh, dash of stance Y. And now, taking some time to set up the swords. A lot of movement here. Trying to work his way towards Weavile. It doesn't have the best buttons to contest at a long range, but... Ooh, that, that bullet punch very quick. And Dan was not ready for it. And with the sword up, able to get that very decent confirm. Dragonite proving invaluable as James able to take that first round with that very strong grab. <laughs> James probably going to regret doing the action when Dan switches to Garchomp. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Let's see. Dan, once again, those Fury Swipes. Very difficult, very fast, very difficult to avoid, I'd say. I like the 4A attempt by Dan, but not quite in range. Let's see this wall combo. Uh, unfortunate drop, but gets the CADC grab. And another grab. Let's see. James, trying to set up swords. Not able to get him up, but he comes Dan after the burst attack. Ooh, not fast enough, and that's a perfect there by Dan. Very commanding round. Oh, the JX just straight over that counter attack, and here's the pressure. Corner pressure by Weavile, very scary. Should get another OP after this. Fully charge CA, James. Saying get off me. And yeah, that's that's gonna deal with that. Decent damage here. Fortunately he's still got the torn off, so that's me big that synergy debuff. It's gonna weaken the damage for a bit more. Okay. Dan, just getting the pressure off. Goes for another torn. But this wall combo is gonna hurt. And the swords. James styling a bit. Oh, that back Y. Very, very slow. But Dan, too far away to make anything of it. Just playing this long range game where he has a very big advantage. With projectiles like that. But now, Dan in the corner. Not a situation you see him in very often. And that's why we are so great at just pushing the opponent towards the corner and this is going to be a combo. First grab crush I think we've seen. Oh, that's... that hurts. That does so much damage. But D James, able to take the round. 
A little bit of a pop off there. So let's see, will Dan stick with the Weavile? He does stick with the Weavile. Still has faith. Let's see if he makes any changes this game. He's done a great job in the field phase, but just being overwhelmed in the dual phase. Dan's able to find those hits, those combos that he needs. Uh, another CADC grab. So hard to react to. Ooh, the bullet punch. Ooh, great, re great response there by Dan. Let's see. Uh, not able to stop it out. That eight Y will just occasionally stuff out counter attacks, but no luck there for Dan. Okay, gets the CA. More corner pressure. Ah, uh, James caught pressing a button. Ah, uh, there it goes again. Oh no, got the shield up. But that's gonna be the ring. Yes, Dan takes round one. Ah, uh, walks straight into the ice trap, and Dan able to get a lot of his meter very early in the round. Able to get it before James does. Let's see how he deals with it. Bullet punch. Great response there by James. Such a fast attack. Able to crush grabs. And the grab. Just a true mix up there. There's not much you can do about it. James. Playing the spacing game, but those fury slides. Dan's been using them a lot today. To great effect. Stage control. Up. Gets the combo. Combo that drops it. Ah, damn. Tried to grab, but James. So fast with the movement. We got James being very aggressive. And this will just be a whiff on him. No, it will not be. James with that 6 A just a bit too slow. And now, no more meter. And let's see this confirmed by Dan. Goes for the full damage, and that is the set. Uh, not the set, that is the game. Dan, just doing a very good job at denying James Burst at the end of that last round. Making sure he can continue his pressure without being forced to back off. James, thinking about the character swap. His sizzle got him through the f going through the first game, but not happy with how that second game went. So, see a character swap. Not sure what he thinks of this matchup. I imagine his pick and peek two is very comfortable with it. So we'll see. Probably a lot of synergy versus this match. Both are very very fast leader building characters. The game. Ooh, ooh, interesting. <laughs> Camera couldn't even keep up with that one. But a few whiffs here. Oh, great response there by James, catching that backdash before A. That should be a punish. Yeah. Taking a solid amount of damage off Dan. Health off Dan. But Pikachu able to fare a lot better in field phase versus Weavile, especially with that Whimsicott, but Ah, uh, the iframes from that successful taunt there. Very smart of them to fully charge it all the way. Knew that James was able to special cancel it, but James able to take that round. The clutch read with his back against the wall. And James is on set point here. Interesting JY, not punishable by a Volga. Dan just 
relentless. Not sure what it was going for there. I think it was a meaty ice punch setup. But it's alright, he gets the gets the wall and that gives him the combo. But here comes Burst Pika. Pikachu usually very mediocre in the damage department, but with Burst, very very strong. Dan dealing with it well there. And this might even... No. Pikachu not really able to punish that on Lift, it recovers so quickly. Unfortunate drop there. And yeah. But no burst confirmed. Didn't dash into it. And Dan very comfortable with that trade. He gets the corner, gets a bit of damage, gets the speed debuff, and that should be the round. So last round situation. Both characters very close to meter. Let's see if Dan's able to deny meter, but James able to get it very quickly and start some pressure off. Let's see the combo. Just gets the iron tail. All plus frames. All plus frames into the burst. Very bad, tough situation here for Dan. Doesn't have burst of his own. And no. No shield break yet, but James almost perfect. Let's see. Ah, uh, with grab. This might be what Dan needs to come back into this match. Oh, great reaction there by Dan. This is a this is a solid hit. Rage boosted crit combo. Still a lot of ground to make up, but it's a lot more doable. Catches the backdash. James in backdash in that second hit a lot. Oh, that should no. And that is that it. That's the set. James counterattacking through, but Dan, Dan able to take that set. Very, very close set, but James will have another chance in the loser's bracket.